Sean, number two. Mr. Zaragoza. He came in second place, and I thought that he absolutely deserved to be number two, just because he did overcome his fear and get up there and performed very well. At the beginning, going into these competitions, I wasn't trying to win. I was just kind of trying to stay right in the middle, you know what I'm saying, so I could get my weight good, because I knew I, said I had a weight problem, and everybody else knew I had a weight problem. You three gentlemen in the winner's circle have a big decision to make. You will choose who will be fighting for $25,000, Mr. Zaragoza or Mr. Vallejo. That man will choose his opponent from the remaining fighters. Hopefully, the winner's circle They'll pick me, the number one guy, and I can make the choice and fight who I want. I would rather fight for 25 grand than fight for survival. That's definitely a motivator to get into the ring right now with the 25 grand hanging over my head. You got a big decision to make. Make your decision wisely. Good night. I feel for Gil. He's lost 12 pounds, and uh, he's still got five pounds to go. And he's struggling with that weight. He's struggling. I got to get down to 175 by the time I fight, or I'm going to be disqualified. I ran seven miles a couple of days this week. Today, I ran two and a half miles. That was just to break a sweat. I'm about 179 right now. I couldn't even really sleep last night, to be honest with you. I was tossing and turning. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. I'm drying out right now. I'm just pulling all the water out of my system right now. So we know when I jump on a scale, I'll be 175. Gil will make the weight, but him making the weight can serve as an advantage to the person he's fighting. He may not be strong enough to win. It makes me wonder if he's got anything left over for the fight. All right, gentlemen, let's get this party started. Have you made your decision? Yes, sir, we have. Okay, let's have it. Gil, Mike, step up. As you guys know, we've had uh, another difficult decision to make. Mike, you're very ready to fight. For several weeks now, the fighters have been choosing the number one guy. Boom, the go-to guy, that's the number one. If they get ranked last, oh, I want to fight the number one guy, prove a point. Gil, you've done a great job losing weight. I'm strong right now. I honestly feel it's my time to go and for me to, you know, display what I have for them. With all that being said... Gil, we'd like you to choose your opponent between Muhammad and Louis. Gilbert wants to fight, he's ready to fight. I've seen him training hard and I've never heard him complain. Sometimes I feel like that the odds are stacked against me. You know, they don't want nothing to do with me, but eventually somebody's gonna have to get in the ring with me. But right, you got a very important decision to make, son. The other two gentlemen up here. I was a little worried. I weighed in at 177. I knew that within 24 hours I was gonna have to drop two pounds. I knew I could do it, but then you're always worried because there's a lot of money at stake. You got two guys here. I told you yesterday you might be fighting. Think about it. Have you made your decision? Yes, I have. It's going to be Mr. Corpse or Mr. Al Mahmoud. So now you have an important decision. It's going to be Mr. Corpse, Mr. Al Mahmoud. I knew for a fact that Gil was going to pick me. I believe he thinks that I can't fight. When I step in the ring, I'm not a cop, I'm a fighter. And he's not a con or whatever you want to call it, he's a fighter. Gil better bring his A game. He's better be ready to go because he's a tough guy, he's a tough, skilled fighter, he trains with top professionals in Miami. Mr. Zaragoza, you'll be fighting for $25,000. Mr. Corpse, you'll be fighting for survival. 
you know, they got the cop and the criminal. And uh, I know a lot of people that pay a lot of money to see that. Everything that I've done in boxing since I've been 15 years old boiled down to this point. You know, I'm, I'm struggling with my weight, you know, still. Being a police officer has definitely helped me become a better boxer. The discipline that you got to have, you can't slack off a minute. Put that lieutenant out there. Put that lieutenant out there. People at times treat ex-cons rough. And I feel that this is a big opportunity to show everybody out there that people can change, and I'm living proof of it. Come on, Lewis! The mission of a SWAT officer is very much a dangerous job. Not only can you get shot, a member of your team can get shot. And in the ring, if you're not focused and stay focused, you, you can get knocked out. When I land that first punch, Luce is going to get hurt. In my experience, at boxers, they just like to try to beat up cops. Gil still probably feels like he'd like to beat up a cop. Ready? All right. 173 and three quarters. You can have some pasta with him. Oh, he's two pounds under. Good job. You ready to wait? Let's get on. Let's go. All the miles that I've been running, all the nights that I've, I've gone to bed hungry, starving last night, you know, I mean, this is what it all boils down to. One seventy-five. Step down. One seventy-five. He makes weight. He kept saying that it's like a dream come true, and I told him it's like a prayer come true. Okay, gentlemen, we have a fight. See you tonight. Good to see you. You ready? All right, I'm ready to rock. People were saying. Oh, Gilbert shouldn't even be here. What do you want to tell those people, man, that doubted you? Those people that don't believe in you? Every punch I land on my opponent tonight, this is directed at the people that doubted me. That's your strength, right? That's yeah. Strength. Tell me what you're thinking when you're training. What is it, man? Well, I have, I have a, a little guy back home, six years old, and I'm not going to let him down. When he sees you fighting inside that ring, he's going to believe in his father, because you're his, you're his role model. Right Everything now. I do is for him. Yeah, everything. It's in the heart, man. It's right there. Good luck, man. I wish you all the best. The left hook is going to be for the people that doubted me. Right? My right hand is going to be for the boxing trainers that didn't have faith in me. That didn't believe in you. That didn't oh, believe in me. That's him. That's, that's for them it. right there. And when I throw my whole combination, I put it all together, and I land every one. Oh, yeah. For all the people that have doubted me. Welcome back to downtown Los Angeles, California. I'm Chris Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, it is elimination time. Introducing first, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. He is the last ranked boxer wearing tonight the red trunks trimmed in white from Miami, Florida. Here is Lewis, the body snatcher, Cole. Walking into the ring is, I think it's the best feeling in the world. All your energy is incredible. You feel like you're unstoppable, like you can go 100 miles an hour forever. It's a great feeling going up in that ring. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He is this week's number two ranked boxer. Wearing tonight the black trunks trimmed in white, hailing from Sacramento, California, please welcome Gilbert, the General Zaragoza! The old having that weight problem, he came down a lot of weight. When somebody had to dry out and lose all that weight, they may be weak. And tonight, along with survival, he will fight for the prize of $25,000. I'm going up against my opponent, and at the same time, I'm going up against all the people that ever doubted me. That said, I couldn't change my life and turn my life around. Lewis, Lewis is going to get hurt. He's going to get his bell rung. And now for the final instructions, once again, your referee, Jose Cobian. Touch him up and come back with the belt. Good luck. We're going to be some of the tats off that boy tonight, son. We're going to be some of the tats off him tonight. And it's finally time, the moment these two gentlemen have been waiting for, the chance of a lifetime. Who will be the next great champ? Welcome back to downtown Los Angeles, California. Chris Rose and Joe Martinez ringside as we are bracing for another fight of the next great champ. Lewis Corpse going against Gilbert Saragossa. Both men fighting for survival. Saragossa also an additional $25,000.
The first of four rounds underway between the SWAT team member and the ex-con Setagosa. And Corpse out early on the attack. Four round fight and he's looking strong right now. Gilbert's sister, Deanna, the emotional spark plug. Look at Corpse working the body early against Zaragoza. Oh, he's looking strong. Land everything he's doing right now on Zaragoza's face and body. Zaragoza misses with a right hand. Zaragoza not mounting much of an attack, very defensive. Hands raised in front of his head, almost like it's a fight he doesn't want to be in. And look at that left hand. Lands out. It goes against the ropes. And Corpse working the body again. Great combinations. You can hear Gilbert Saragosa's sister, Deanna, pleading with her brother. Just go out and throw some punches. He has yet to really land one. He's playing a cover-up game, and that's pretty much all he can do with Corpse on the attack. Stop, stop, stop. And the referee, Jose Cobian, stepping in and separating the fighters. Lewis Corpse, very accurate here in round one, landing just about everything he throws at Saragossa. He's got Saragossa backed up into the corner, working the body. He's on a mission in this first round, Chris. He's looking very strong. Second professional fight for Saragossa, who is less than a year removed from prison. Saragossa misses with a pair of left hands. Big oh. left to the chin. But Corpse did not. He comes back with a left. Strong right to the nose. He's working the head. He's working the body. Another solid oh. right thrown by Corpse. Less than 10 seconds to go now in round one. Oh, oh and perhaps the bell does save Gilbert Saragossa. Let's see what his corner and the Hall of Fame trainer Lou Duva has to say. For Christ's sake. You let this guy get on first all the time and don't back up and hold your hands there. Punch with this guy. And there you see Christy, that is the girlfriend of Lewis Corpse. She's been watching her boyfriend expend every ounce of energy in this competition. Well, does he have enough now to be the next great champ? And you're blocking. Listen, listen. Uppercuts. Uh, or, or if you see the punch coming, jab, stick that jab up. Stick that jab up in the far back of that right hand. Boy, it looks like if Gilbert Saragossa doesn't start throwing some punches, he's going to have to fight off some from Lou Duba. He's going to have to do something. He cannot afford to give up another big round like he did in that first round. He's got beat on him now, son. Let's go. Round two underway between Gilbert Saragossa, who in addition to fighting for survival against Lewis Corpse, also eyeing $25,000. Corpse still on the attack and lands at left hand. Saragossa still somewhat protective, although now he starts to drop his hands and actually fight. No, Gil, there you go. You look good, Gil. You look good. Well, Duba told him what to do, and he's doing it finally in this second round. Not connecting on any big shots, but at least he's throwing some. Stop, stop. What's the head? Saragossa looking a little more confident here in round two. I don't know how much more Zaragoza can take from Corpse, and I really don't know how much more Corpse can dish out. Lou Duba liking what he sees right now. Ooh, a solid left thrown by Zaragoza. And now trying to work a combination. There you go, Gil, come on! Corpse looks to be tiring a little bit. A right hand with nothing behind it. Oh, that's scary. It's only the second round of four. This is a different fighter, Chris. This is not the corpse we saw in round one. There's a left. And now Saragossa actually looking more disciplined. It's like running back-to-back -back marathons. You saw corpse just on the attack all that first round, and now he's winding down, Chris. And you can see a little misstep by Lewis Corpse. That's what's going to happen when your legs get a little weary. Oh, and Saragossa with a nice combination to the face of corpse. Hey, but he's still fighting back. Oh, the right hand. A solid right by Lewis Corpse. And now it's Saragossa. Oh, a left right to the grill of Lewis Corpse. And Gil's sister, Deanna. You can hear her barking out those words of encouragement. Oh, another solid right thrown by Corpse. This is an outstanding round. We have 10 seconds left now in round two. Now it's Saragossa who's got Corpse backed up against the ropes. Got a left going, and that a right. Go. And that will do 
it for two rounds. Now that was a fight, Chris. That second round was this a fight. This guy here is dead out there. Thanks a lot, huh? Yo, you got to suck it up, baby. I know, I know. Hey, yo, you got to suck it up. This is good check time, son. You just heard Corpse tell his trainer, Tommy Brooks, my legs are gone. Well, he's going to have to dig deep inside. Well, it's time for him to protect and serve his own interests as he is trying to be the next great champ. Bring him up. One, two, bring him up. One of these fighters could just be minutes away from moving on to the winner's circle. Who will it be? And here we go with round three. Chris Rose and Joe Martinez back. We are through two rounds so far of a fight between Lewis Corbs and Gilbert Saragossa. Both men fighting for survival. One of these two men will survive in advance and try to be the next great champ. Who will it be? And we are underway in round three. Corpse with a solid right to start us off, who really looked winded in round two. And you can see Zaragoza just eyeing him. There you go, Gil. Come on. Stalking him, waiting for this his big opportunity. with a nice combination to the head of Corpse. Corpse is not going to give up, though. He's going to continue throwing punches, and he's hoping that one of those big ones is going to land. But it's Zaragoza who's putting in the work in this third round, and he's the one connecting on all the shots now. Corpse taking a ton of punishment. You could almost call it police brutality. Jose Cobion giving Corpse a count. Will this be it, or will he rebound? Can he get up? He is up. That's it. The referee stops the fight. Gilbert Saragossa wins in a third round knockout. Gilbert Saragossa, a true rags to riches story. Less than a year ago, he was sitting in prison. Now he is sitting on top of the boxing world. Lewis Corpse's girlfriend, Christy, saw her boyfriend come out with such vengeance in round one, and he just lost it after that. So tough for Lewis Corpse. I came down here on a mission, you know, and that was the win. Conquer and destroy, you know? These fighters know tonight, you know, when they step in the ring with me, they better know how to fight. Because if they don't know how to fight, and they're gonna get hurt. People can change, you know. I'm living proof, you know. I was on the wrong road, and look at me now, you know. I mean, my life is it's heading in the, in the right direction, you know. It is very emotional, and I wish my parents could have been here to see it live, you know. I'm just very, very proud. <laughs> Thank you. Very proud of you, Gilbert. You're so good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so Thank happy. You. I couldn't be happier, Bill. You just, you did so good. It's just the beginning. It was very hard for me. I was getting really dizzy and tingling, and it was hard. It was a great fight. I just I ran out of gas. I almost had him. I had him. I almost had him. My hat's off to him, because I tell you, nobody else would have stood with those shots that I gave him. I'm there with Christy, and uh, all of a sudden, it's my mom and my son. Best feeling in the world to see my son there and my mom. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. <laughs> I mean, I'm very proud of Lewis. He's a great man. He's a great father. He's a great officer. I'm always here for Lewis Jr. And this is this is my life right here. This guy. Love you. I'm very proud that my son saw me fight. I just wanted him to know that I, you know, you give 100 percent to everything you have. And if it doesn't turn out the way you know you want it, it's all right. You know, you gave it 100 percent The morning after the fight, we were at the gym training. Tommy and Lou had a little surprise in store for us. All right, gentlemen. You guys know Fred Bachman told us he was retiring from boxing for good. So we got a little surprise for you. Guess who's coming back for one more shot at all of you? He's right here. Oh, hell. Next on an all-new The Next.
next great champ. You thought he was gone for good, but one determined boxer is about to make a surprising return. Oh, hell. Then, for the first time, the remaining boxers must fight twice within 48 hours to make it out of the winner's circle. It's two complete boxing matches. Do you want to win the great? Let's throw some punches. More boxing than ever before in our toughest episode yet. Next time on an all-new The Next Great Champ. for good. It'd be fair to say that I'm retiring from the sport of boxing. Then, in a split decision, Otis was narrowly eliminated by Jimmy Mintz. Tonight, one boxer will make a surprising return for a second chance of becoming the next great champ. There are 12 rising boxers in the fight of their lives, but they're not doing it alone. Now, Oscar De La Hoya will turn one of them into the next great champ. surprise in store for us. All right, gentlemen. You guys know Fred Bachman told us he was retiring from boxing for good. So we got a little surprise for you. Guess who's coming back for one more shot at all of you? He's right here. So we got a little surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> 